Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What will you never tolerate? Lactose. Lactose in toddler ants. Lactose and tolerance. People not flushing in public restrooms. I've had enough of their shit. I walked into a single stall bathroom after a female co-worker and there was clearly piss all over the toilet seat. I stood there for a moment, contemplating on just cleaning it or finding another bathroom. I decided to call her out privately instead. I went up to her and quietly said. Do you want to come clean up the piss you left all over the toilet seat? She slowly followed me back, I opened the door, and she grabbed some paper towels and wiped it up. I thanked her, and she went back to her business. I can't stand people who leave messes, and I'll call them out if I catch them in the act. As a woman, how the fuck do you piss all over a toilet seat? Maybe from squatting, but if it's more than a drop, the way it's all designed to fit, that's really hard to do and almost impressive. I see what you did there, and you saw what they did there. People asking me a question, then not listening to my answer. What do you while eat? I could go for some Burger King. Ah we're going with pizza instead. Why ask if you don't give a fuck? I've heard these kind or people described as askless. I'm never going to call them anything else. Yo our school nun would do this in meditation sessions but it would be like you're walking along a beach is it sunrise or is it sunset? No it's sunrise. You see fishermen by the shore, are they coming in, or going out? No. They're coming in. You're having breakfast with them. Are you having toast? Cereal. No you're having fish. Don't give US options if you have an image in mind already you Irish bitch. Are you an Irish bitch or are you not? Yes you are an Irish bitch. Littering. There is no reason to do it. Agreed. Smokers that throw their butts on the ground drive me insane. Their butts on the ground drive me insane too. Unzips. Littering is somewhat acceptable here. It pisses me off. I was at a car meet with some friends, in a parking lot, and they ordered KFC. After they finished, they just threw it all on the ground. I told them to clean it up before leaving and they said they would. Came back the next morning and it was still there, so I cleaned it up. I hate seeing people's empty fast food bags sitting in parking lots. Like are you freaking serious? People who disrespect basic common courtesy. Example, the teenager who spat in a public jacuzzi I was in the other day. I gave him a decent reminder not to do it again. Fucking gross. My first award. Thanks anonymous redditor. I was swimming laps in the HOA pool. Just me and a guy with his kid and toddler. Then he changed his toddler's poopy diaper and dipped him in the pool to rinse after. The pool I was swimming in. So I left. Oh man, that is absolutely disgusting. You were. One time I saw a family sitting in a public jacuzzi and they decided it was a great time to eat snacks. Like sitting there eating crackers in the hot tub. Crumbs falling all in it. Trash. Being accused of something that I did not do. The most trivial of wrongful accusations gets my blood boil. What's worse is when afterwards everyone has comes to me about how sorry they felt for me watching me get in trouble when they knew I did nothing wrong. Like excuse me, you're saying you felt sorry for me but you didn't even bother speaking up for me in the moment. And the opposite, accused of not doing something you did do. And it's cousin, being asked to do something that you were about to do of your own accord. Not even trying to improve something that could trivially be improved. If something is shit, and you know how to fix it, fucking fix it. But I like complaining about that damn door that won't close properly. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door. Edit, thanks for the awards, kind strangers. People who make fun of other people for things they know they are insecure about. Especially if it's not something they can change. Me, laughs. Mother, why do you do that annoying laugh? Cheating at board games. It's not a big deal comparing it to some of these things. Damn though, it's so annoying. I'd rather lose trying than win cheating because at least then I know where I stand. Same here. It's weird when someone tries to pull it off too. Is it cheating when my kids make me play Monopoly and I secretly overpay all my fines, slip a couple of hundred bucks back into the bank, forget to charge rent and somehow always manage to lose in 10 might use? 
What's hilarious is that I can't tell if you're being a loving dad who wants their kids to win or if you're just sick of playing and are trying to get it over with as soon as possible. Those that are far too lazy to use their indicators, it is the epitome of laziness. I hear you. It's also entitlement whereby we all have to wait for them feckers because they are too lazy to let people know where they are going. The best thing you can do in traffic is to be predictable. I am literally unwilling to lift a finger to make everyone's life easier and safer. It doesn't have an obvious, immediate effect on me so fuck it and fuck you too, guy trying to merge into traffic. Child abuse. Any kind of abuse is something that should not be tolerated. You leave cocaine out of this. People being rude to customer service. I know, I hate it when people abuse customer service staff to get free stuff. It makes me really lose respect for the person. I worked in a craft store for a while. Little old ladies were my worst nightmare. I was the cashier that could keep a cool head and stay polite and kind while taking everyone's crap so managers would send the unruly people to me. Are some of the stories I have. Drunk driving. I grew up here in Ireland when we had some horrific drink driving ads on TV. A view YouTube search you'll find a few. One ad specifically on drink driving shows a guy playing soccer with his friends. Every cheer and action is mimicked by a four-year-old boy in his back garden. Cute. Cut to the man having two pints with the lads after the game. He gets into his car and as he's driving, he doesn't realize how close to the step he is and hits the curb and flips the car. The back garden comes back and the little boy is cheering he scored. Suddenly a gigantic car bursts through the hedge and comes at the kid. They show a flowery same color as the little boy's jersey being cut in half by the debris. Dad comes running out and grabs the limp boy on the ground as the man falls out of the wreck of his car. There's another one about seat belts that show a car full of young people having a good time. They get into a crash and one of them is buckled up. She flies forward and back, side to side and has head-to-head -head collisions with everyone in the car. Cut to an ambulance taking all their bodies away and a policeman saying the one in the back did all the damage. The song playing in the while ad is a song by Samatha Mumba Body to Body and I can't listen to it without hearing that girl's head crack off her friend's head. One more that stuck was one about speeding. Shows a cliche couple in a country Irish road. Stone wall, girl sitting on the wall and the guy standing between her legs. Laughing smiling. It shows a guy booting down a country road. Tunes playing and smirk on his face. Suddenly a dog is in the road and he swerves, flipping the car and it slides. It slams right into the wall and the two teenagers. Guy is pinned to girl and she screams. Shows the driver sitting in a court dock being charged then slowly fades to the girl sitting in a wheelchair at the boyfriend's funeral. Those ads were harsh as all hell but they stuck with me. Showing the severity of a quarter people in a car not buckling up or two pints affecting your concentration and one second decisions you have to make while driving, showed me driving is easy and so many factors go into you getting somewhere safely. Fuck this ad. I was vacationing in Ireland from the States when I was 10 and I remember seeing the little kid playing soccer ad. Still sticks with me today. Those ads rip the bad it off but they leave a lasting message for sure. Someone who is condescending. That's cute. Thanks. You could have just said condescension. Slow fast checkout. And the sick fucks that get in the 10 items or less lane with their loaded 5 weeks worth of groceries cart. I was in the 10 items or less line a while ago and this lady had no joke probably 30 containers of Clorox wipes. She had a coupon for each one and they all had to be rung up separately. It took at least 10 minutes by the time I got there. The guy in front of me lost his shit and started yelling at the cashier. He was demanding why he would let her in this line in the first place and demanded to speak to a manager. The manager came over and placated the guy and rung him up separately. He left the rest of us in line though. Fuck that lady and her Clorox wipes. Influencers online promoting diets, skinny teas, and other diet y sort of items, and other unhealthy behaviors onto their young, impressionable for base. No, no, number. I am 100% for healthy, balanced lifestyles and eating in a nutritious way. But laxative, caffeine bomb teas and 1000 calorie plans are never appropriate to be promoting to 14 year olds. Never, ever. That is damaging AF, especially for kids whose bodies are still growing developing. Influencers. I have thousands of followers. I'll pay you in exposure. 
There's only one kind of exposure I'll take as payment, and that ain't it. Arrogant, self-entitled people who think they are the shit and everyone should see them as better. Yeah well I hate people who post about me on Reddit. Yeah, well, if you're so much better than everyone else, why are you undercooked, ha, huh, lasagna? I absolutely hate it when people point it out when people are embarrassed or blushing and say look they are going red they are getting embarrassed. Why would you do that it's just cruel what are you getting out of commenting on people being embarrassed? You ease. I get that shit all the time because I blush easily. Like if I think about talking to others I can blush to a deep red. There was a kid in my high school who when he blushed would have to turn around for several minutes because everyone would laugh at him and point it out. Then his voice would start to crack. Then the teacher wouldn't resume class until he turned back around. I'm surprised he didn't shoot himself in the face. That's pure torture. Even the teacher picked on him. That's another thing I don't tolerate. <laughs>